Well, it's Arts Live Theater meets Shakespeare this weekend, an original adaptation of Twelfth Night by the Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare, here to tell us why you should come out and see the show. We've got director Jules Taylor and some of the members of the cast of the show as well. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being Thank here. You. Yes, Jules, you directed this one. I did. Did you also write this one? I did. You did everything. Tell us about it. What's the how, what's the adaptation about? Well, it's actually an inspired by. Um, okay. I was gonna do an adaptation. Uh, Twelfth Night has a lot of um, adult themes. Right. So you got to. And the out characters have a lot of adult that. transition. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so I was inspired by it, um, and it has a lot of. Um, like the characters' names are similar, and there's a few other little references. Yeah. But mostly, it just kind of was a jumping-off point. Yes, of course. So, with our actors here, can you tell us your names and what roles you play in the show? Let's start down here with you, Mary Kate. Okay, my name is Mary Kate Bridges, and I play Seb. Seb. Okay. My name is Salonia Reynolds, and I play Vivi. I love it. A Hawaiian theme? <laughs> We've got the shirts on. What is what is with that? Well, these two are social media influencers. Oh, okay. And this is just one of their social media outfits. I love it. <laughs> yes. What was this like for you actors, the rehearsal process? Have you had a good time? Well, yeah. This has been really fun yeah. for us. Yeah. When did you start practicing, rehearsing? Um, we started yeah, early this month. <laughs> this and month? Well, no, 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 no. Last well, yesterday, month, I mean. yeah. I was like, no. yesterday, <laughs> yes. Yeah, we started, um, I think we did our first read through like February maybe 10th or something. Wow, so yeah, it's been it's a, been really, a really, really, really fast transition. Yeah. And the actors have been just fantastic. You know, that's one of the things job. I love about Arts Life Theater, when you put kids center stage, and even if you, uh, you know, have a short time frame. Right. The they actors shine. always come through. They Every certainly time. do shine. I know. So give us the details, Jules, on when and where the play is happening. It's at Arts Life Theater, okay. which is 818 Sang Avenue, uh, Sang in Weddington, close to the university. Yeah. Uh, we open tonight okay. at 7 o'clock, and then we have a performance Friday night and Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and also two matinees, Saturday and Sunday at 2 o'clock. Okay. And the tickets are online at artslifetheater.com. And we do recommend that you uh, get tickets uh, ahead of time because we do often sell out. Yes. Especially those last couple of performances. Limited seating, limited parking. Very limited. So you want no, to get right. your uh, get your tickets in advance, know where you're going, and go out and support these young actors. Okay, we've got a scene that's coming up. What do we need to know? Can you set this up for us at all? Well, I just want to. I, um, this is a uh, Vivian Seb, and they are twins. Okay. And they are social media influencers. Okay. And this is just them talking to their audience. I love it. That's all we need to know. We'll step aside and let you take over whenever you're ready. All right. Hi, I'm Vivi. And I'm Seb. If you watch our videos, then you rock. Everyone knows us from, from our TikTok. Today, we want to talk to you about how to talk on your phone. If you're like us, then you use your phone a lot. And she means a lot. I mean, look at us. Do you think we got here without documenting our every move? Sounds right. But have you ever used your phone to actually speak to someone? I've heard of that, Vivi. And SMV Nation, today your life may change when you learn this secret. Tell them, Vivi. To actually speak to someone else on your phone. Like, have a real life conversation. Talk on the phone? That sounds so old fashioned. It's a quaint custom developed by our ancestors. It's actually an interesting experience. You can hear another person's voice. So it's not just texting gifts? That's right, Seb. But what about emojis? How do you use emojis if you're talking? You don't if you're actually talking. You actually express the emotion yourself. That seems hard, Vivi. Can you demonstrate? Sure. First, you scroll through your contacts, and you find the person you want to connect with. Then, instead of texting them, you hit the mobile phone icon. And then? And then what happens? Then the person can answer on their end, and you have a real live conversation. How do you send memes? You don't when you're actually talking. I don't know if I can express myself without memes. Sure you can. Let's try it. 